마중 하나는 바로 세대교체. 작년엔 파이널 6의 첫 출전한 선수 3명이 모두 8강까지 진출했다. Infelizmente, até hoje não conseguimos, mas, mas eu sinto que esse ano a gente vai conseguir, que o Kuxi vai conseguir. O que é 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 o que 그 야망을 위해 1년간 가라데를 떠나 모든 것을 K1 훈련에 쏟아부었다. 극진 가라데의 괴물이 또 다시 충격을 가져다 줄 것인가? Eu poder retribuir sendo campeão do Grand Prix, né? Então vai ser uma uma grande realização pro Karate Kyokushin, né? Então eu espero esse ano, eu espero trazer esse título pro pro Kyokushin também. 올해 파이널 6에 첫 출전하는 선수는 6명. 새로운 면면들이 잇따라 나타나던 중에 전혀 예상치도 못했던 곳에서 올라온 것이 바로 아시아 챔피언 싱글 하트 자리브 인도 출신 아직 21살밖에 안된 자리브는 아시아 그랑프리가 K1 첫 출전이었다 시합전 예상에선 아무도 주목하지 않았지만 주어진 큰 체격을 잘 살린 공격으로 상대를 압도하며 챔피언의 자리에 올랐다 말 그대로 신드렐라 보이다 이 선수는 진정 격투기를 위해 태어난 남자인가 부족한 경험을 커버하는 막대한 잠재 능력과 순발력으로 대반란을 꿈꾼다 이 공카우텔라 리스펙터블 케리 탐에 캠피언 중 그랜프리미 캠피언 중 그랜프리 다아비 마이스 테이키 토마 쿠이다 눈 포지 아샤 키야 루세 자타 그이 안티 지 코메사 그러나 테세이라에게 방심이란 단어는 없다. 이 날을 위해 최고의 컨디션을 맞춰왔고 올해야말로 드디어 극진 가라데의 염원을 이룬다. K1 신세대 간의 일전, 과연 누가 살아남을 것인가? 에베오톤 테세이라 대 싱글 하트 짜디브 블랙 코너 신장 195cm, 체중 100kg, 트윈 소속, 싱, 핫, 샤디! Only 21 year old, or 21 years old, Sing Hunt Jay Deep. If he wins this one, he'll be the youngest man in history to qualify for the K1 World Grand Prix. The youngest champion, of course, is still Peter Ertz when he first won the title back in 1994 as a 23 year old. But Jay Deep would become the youngest fighter ever in the K1 World Grand Prix. He's only 21 years old. We are set for three by three minute rounds. Three knockdowns in one round and the fight is all over. Three judges ringside are scoring this contest. And look at the towering height differential here. Six foot five of Singhart Jay Deep, six two of Teixeira. 220 pounds Jay Deep, 231 pounds for Teixeira, who is built like an absolute tank. Michael Chevello, Mike Kogan with your ringside. Who will go through to join Ruslan Karayev, Errol Zimmerman, Remy Bonjaski in the final eight? The bookmakers have Teixeira as the favourite. Minus 365, Singha J Deep at plus 295. Singha J Deep receiving a lot of publicity here in Korea, having won the K1 Asian Grand Prix title here only a month or so ago. And Teixeira, the K1 Japanese Grand Prix champion of 2008. So JD pretty much in the same position now as Teixeira was in last year. Teixeira just faking off the lead leg early. Look out for him to throw those Kyokushin round kicks, the Mawashi Geri at range. But he's also got those heavily improved hands as Teixeira, especially a beautiful, a delicious straight right cross. Circling early here, Singhart JD, but does not want to remain a stagnant target. Needs to work his angles because 
Teixeira is very much a straightforward fighter, a very linear fighter. Doesn't use a lot of latitude. J Deep's got to work the angles. J Deep on the inside will look for the high knees. He's got those semi short style knees. He can tuck under the jawline of Teixeira should he get the opportunity. And at the moment, Teixeira just trying to walk him down, throws a left hook right hand to open up proceedings. Ooh, looks to break off and work a high left round kick there. There's Singha JD. Inside thigh kick, Teixeira then goes up to the rib cage on the right side of the carcass. Good inside thigh kick from Teixeira. Overhand right counter. Didn't come anywhere near the target from the Brazilian. Inside thigh kick, left hand, overhand right. Counter off the right leg from Singha J Deep. Almost halfway through this first round, Mike Kogan. Not much, you know, I mean, really not much going on. More of a filling out process. I think Teixeira is trying to find the right range. Singha is seems to be countering pretty much at this point. There was the nice, solid low kick from Teixeira. And again, Singha J Deep, those very thin legs of the Indian. He'll start to feel the pain. Kyokushinkai Karataka are renowned for breaking slabs of ice and baseball bats with their leg kicks. Inside thigh kick, a little bit awkward on that occasion from Teixeira. Under a minute remaining now in the first round. Goes up to the liver section, does Teixeira. More flat-footed of the two here is Teixeira, whereas Jadeep is bouncing around on the balls of his feet. Goes for an inside thigh kick to Singhart Jadeep. We haven't seen any knockouts so far here tonight in the final 16 as Teixeira lands the best shot of the fight so far. Overhand right from the Brazilian. Wants to start to launch the heavy salvos here, does Teixeira. Singhart on the outside, circling counterclockwise. Now he drifts off to his left, then back to the right. Singhart does a really good job at, at avoiding the overhand and countering with a, with a, with a, uh, with a leg kick. But this round is going to be hard to judge. Not much really happened here. And he stays out of range nicely by circling to his right. He stays out of the right hand of Everton Teixeira. One round down, two remaining. And as Mike Hogan said, they're very much dipping their toes in the water, just seeing what each other had to offer there in the opening three minutes. If I was going to score it one way, I'd go slightly in favour of Everton Teixeira, but pretty much a drawn round, I'd say, Mike. I'd say it's a draw for sure. You know, Singh Hunt, I mean, he, 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 he had some leg kicks. He landed some punches. Everton didn't really do anything, you know, spectacular. He didn't have a one good lead hook that he landed. Probably a draw around at this point. Five for Lemoy. As you see, Babu just icing down the back of the neck of Teixeira. Meanwhile, team Power and Dream in the corner of Singh Hunt, JD. We are ready to rock and roll. Second round of three. One of these two men will join Karayev, Zimmerman and Bonjaski on December 5 at the Yokohama Arena. Hey, Mike, what time is it? <laughs> Why is that, Mike? Something you know. dared you, me you to do? You seem to have watch on each of you. I always answer the dares. Second round of action. Maybe a drawn first round. Jade Z once again circling on the outside. Where's an outside thigh kick? Good counter kick from Teixeira, just dropping the shin onto the quadriceps of J Deep. J Deep thought about the front kick, does on the second occasion. Left hook, right hand from Teixeira inside. Now it's J Deep territory for the knees, but Teixeira just pulled the hips in nice and close. Didn't allow J Deep to throw any knees in the clinch. A lot more power behind Teixeira's kicks in this round. You could feel. Just putting some meanness behind him. One of the nicest guys you'll meet outside of the ring, Teixeira. Very quiet, doesn't say a lot. Well, he doesn't speak English, so. No, he does, actually. I got quite a bit of English out of him for that YouTube interview I did with him. You just have to press him a little. Yeah, I, I'm scared of that. <laughs> oh, overhand right, left hand from Teixeira, all tied up again. J-Deep looking for the knees, Muay Thai clinch, locked on! Can't get it though, hey. referee. 
Moves in and separates them, says no holding, no clinching unless you're going to work. One minute 40 remaining, second round. Jadeep needs to find his hands a little more here. He's hardly thrown a punch. Well, Jadeep needs to also pick up the momentum of, you know, even with his kicks, because he's not doing much of much of anything. This round, though not super eventful either, is definitely going towards uh, Everton to care. Teixeira just scoring constantly on the lead leg of Singhart. Jadeep. Teixeira got that right hand cocked. Will he pull the trigger? Steps forward now, the Brazilian, there it is, goes to the stern end. Muay Thai clinch from JD, no knees again, you see Teixeira goes chest to chest, not allowing any room to work the knees. Clever tactics on the inside here from Everton Teixeira. Inside thigh kick, nicely done, a high right hand against the round kick from JD. Then JD went off the back left. Circles off to his right as the end yet. Inside thigh kick again from Teixeira. Outside thigh kick to the back leg. Then he launches the Mawashigeri to the head. There was a nice high knee attempt and a follow through right hand. But he's just got no power in the hands as JD. We saw that in the Asian tournament. No, but he's starting to at least pick up the pace and get a little more active. You know, which is scoring points. You know, I don't think he's going to knock out Everton Teixeira, but definitely scoring some points for the judges. No one has done that yet. No one has knocked out Everton Teixeira. And his short but very illustrious K1 career. And Kyokushin hopes a pinned on Teixeira after his stablemate Glaube Feitoza was controversially eliminated by Errol Zimmerman earlier, courtesy of a decision. End of the second round. Better signs, though, from Singhart JD. Although I feel both men need to up the ante in the third round, Mike. Most definitely. I mean, I think that these judges are probably looking at, you know, one of them to really step up and make a statement and really show them that they want to, you know, really want to win this fight and want to move into the finals. I mean, this is, you know, the final 16. This is the time to, to shine. This is the time to make a statement. And so far, they're both fighting kind of a cautious fight and, and, and not really very active. Um, so I don't know. I think, I think they, they, they definitely need to pick it up in the, in the third round. Babu in the corner there with Teixeira. Teixeira choosing to stand between rounds. Singhart J. Dupe choosing to take a seat. Second half. A little bit of swelling on the left thigh of Singhart J. Deep. The K1 Asian champion of 2009. Here we go, third and final. Teixeira needs to get his distancing with those short arms. Double forearm guard against the lead lead round kick from JD. JD wants to keep circling to his right to stay out of the way of that right cross of Teixeira. That's what he's doing at the moment. Teixeira needs to step across. Cut off the ring. Stop Singhart JD from moving. Yeah, Everton is not doing, you know, exactly. He's not doing much to, to cut off the ring. To kind of assert his his offense. He almost like he's waits for, for Jehad to stop. Nice jab from Teixeira. Inside thigh kick. Outside thigh kick. Singhart checks it. Teixeira again. The right hand. We haven't really seen it so far here tonight. It's a good effect. JD looking for the meet and greet with the high knee. Trying to tuck it under the jawline. And Teixeira continues to hunt him down. He's got to step across a lot more, 45 degree angle off the front foot and stop Singhart from drifting off to his left, which is Singhart's right, of course. Rib kick, that's one way of stopping him drifting. Getting a little animated in the corner in front of us of Singhart JD. The official raced across and told the corner men to sit down. Double forearm guard, left hand counter from Everton Teixeira. Good inside thigh kick off the jab of Singhart JD. And again from Teixeira. Finds the target with the jab. One minute 15 remaining, third and final round. Singhart JD doing a much better performance than a lot of people gave him credit for. Most people thought Teixeira was going to eat him here tonight, including the bookmakers ahead of him at 295, plus 295. And Teixeira the favourite at minus 365. As they do a bit of a waltz over into the neutral corner, referee going to have words here. It looks like with Singhart J. Deep. 
cautioning him for the clinch. You can clinch and knee and then break. You cannot just lock on the clinch and wait for the knee opportunity. It's not a Muay Thai fight. Chain deep, still moving. Just needs to up the work rate here. So too, for that matter, does Teixeira. Train of low kicks. It was Teixeira who drew the short straw and almost got the dreadlocks knocked off with a high knee. Outside thigh kick to the back leg from Teixeira. And then goes to the lead leg. Tries to throw in. Oh, there it is! The high knee! Teixeira's been wobbled! Can't see how JD capitalized. High knee again! Here comes JD! He caught him with a big bok choy! And twice to Schurter ate the knees of Singhart and Singhart eats a jab. This is more like it. They're throwing down the final round. This is what the fans wanted to see. Jumping knee to Schurter comes over the top. That was just a brawl, Mikey. Yeah, the last minute of the fight is what I think a lot of fans expected the first round to be like. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe JD, might have, JD may have stolen the final the fight round. With that, with those knees, definitely. Yeah. And yet again, Mike, as we've said for so many fights here tonight, I'd like to see it go to an extension round. It's just too close to call. This fight probably would be. Have a look here from JD. Blocking on the Muay Thai clinch. Boom! With the knee under the jawline. Everton to a quick count of his teeth after that one. Nice jab from the Brazilian. Dreadlock's got a bit of an erection there. I'll have to comb that up. As we await the decision here after three rounds, we can go a possible two extension rounds under these final 16 super fight rules. As they apply a bit of Vaseline, it certainly looks as if both corners are thinking this one will also go an extension round because there's still a lot of instruction coming from both camps. I don't know why, but I see Everton pulling off a decision win here. First judge. To Singhart JD. He might make history. Raw extension round. Okay. One judge for JD, two judges a draw. We are going an extension round. Now, who has the tougher mind? Who has the mental capacity? Who's got the will and determination? The guts and the intestinal fortitude. We know how mentally strong Everton Teixeira is. Not only from his K1 display so far, but to become the world's open karate champion in Kyokushin, the ninth world karate champion, you've got to be just mentally a machine. Singhart JD, who only made his K1 debut in August, has he got what it takes now? Has he got the pepper to dig deep for the next three minutes? Extra round! Extra round. Wherever you're watching this one, folks, score it down now. You've got to score an aggression on who is pressing the action and on who lands the more telling blows. Faking off the back leg here, Singhart JD. And he throws it. No starch behind it, but it lands. And there's a bit of starch. That'll take the creases out of your trunks. Teixeira doesn't want to give up that center ring position. Wants to force JD to the outside. Needs to cut off the ring, though. Looks for the inside fight. So far, this looks like a repeat of the first round. It is there for the taking, and I am actually disappointed that both these men aren't throwing down. I believe so is this referee who's about to give him caution. And for, so he should. He should dig into the pocket and issue a yellow card and give them both a 10% purse deduction. They've got to throw down. The most exciting portion of the fight was when they threw down for the final 45 seconds or so of the third round. It's what we want to see, and it's when both men look closest to finishing the fight. Inside thigh kick from J. Deep misses. Teixeira needs to throw those leg kicks, then come over with the right hand. See, what he does by throwing the leg kicks first, you can always set up a right hand with a jab, 
but what that'll tend to do is actually close up your opponent's guard. So what you want to do is throw the leg kicks underneath, allow Jay Deep to drop his left hand down instinctively as he would, and then power through with that succulent right cross that Teixeira possesses. Right, none of which, none of which, which Teixeira is doing. But I'm also surprised that Jay Deep is not capitalizing on those knees. I mean, he hurt Teixeira in the, in the final, uh, you know, in the closing of the third round with those knees. But yet he's choosing to stay on the outside and circle around. And exactly, Mike. He's got to get airborne here, Singha Jay Deep. Go right up the center with those knees. Now a little bit more aggression from Teixeira. Wades in with the right hand. Jay Deep locks him up. Teixeira presses the hips in once more, negates any sort of knee action. One minute, ten remaining. Step up knee from Jay Deep, overhand right from Teixeira. Muay Thai clinch again from the Indian. And referee breaks them. Teixeira just not doing enough. Nice jab, kick to the back leg from the Brazilian. Step up knee from Jay Deep. Yeah, Jay Deep may be doing just enough to slightly edge this round and win it in the judges' decision. Teixeira backs him up, knee to the liver section from the Brazilian. Jay Deep returns the favor, trying to fold him in half like a piano accordion. They turn go back into the blue corner. Referee breaks him. A lot of instruction here for Jay Deep by the Power and Dream team. Body shots in the clinch. Referee needs to break them here. And he does. Under 20 seconds remaining, someone's got to go for broke now. Someone's got to throw the caution to the wind, and it's Jay Deep with the Muay Thai clink. Nothing happening though, no knees from Jay Deep. Another wasted opportunity. And the 10 second blackout seems to spark them on. But I am disappointed in that. Just not enough work rate from two men who were fighting to be on the ultimate stage. Fighting to be in the coveted K1 Grand Prix come December 5. I expect a lot better than that, Mike. Well, so did I. But you know what? Unfortunately, we may end up seeing another one of these, another, another round, as they will probably go to the fifth and the final extension round. Just because, you know, neither man did anything, and then both of them kind of exploded in the last 10 seconds of the fight. So, Singha Jay Deep continually looking to lock on that Muay Thai grapple and work the high knees, but it only happened for him in the final 30 seconds or so. Fight full of Moy right of screen, Jason Super Vamoa left of screen, two head trainers of Team Ichigigi, the Kiwi Connection in the corner. <laughs> Babu just telling the referee, get out of our face, while well, the referee momentarily went to Evidence Corner. And it looks again like both corners are thinking it will be another extension round. Jay Deep taking a seat. Teixeira doing a lot of nodding. Visually, standing. Teixeira looks the fresher. He the does. fresher of the two. But running, neither one of them are doing anything. It's not an impressive performance. And hopefully, if we do go. Extra yeah, extra Two. round. Okay, we're going an extra round. Yeah, I was right. So, three more minutes remaining. Now, they've got to throw down. It's the simple math of it. Inside thigh kick from Jay Deep. Teixeira starting slowly again. He should try for the switch through right hand. Bring the rear foot to the front, power through with the right. I know that Ray Sefo taught him that technique at Team Ichigeki. Nice snappy jab from Teixeira. Needs to throw the leg kicks. You know, he actually did hurt the legs of JD very early in the fight with those leg kicks, but hasn't followed through with them. I'm very surprised at, at, uh, at Everton not using that improved strike. I mean, last year at this very event, you know, I thought he surprised everybody with how well he used his, his hands, having come from a, you know, a traditional uh, karate background. Right My now, he's not doing anything. He's not doing, throwing leg kicks, he's not utilizing his hands. You know, they're doing one, two clinches and... Liver shot off the lead leg from Teixeira. You know, this is just not the fight you want to see at the final 16. And if you gauge it, by the way, the other guys have fought here tonight, Karayev, Zimmerman, Bonjaski, who are already through on December 5. Both Teixeira and JD would get absolutely pwned if they met either of those guys come December 5, the way they're fighting here. I agree. I think they should both be disqualified and Melvin should be brought back. <laughs> I'm hearing you, brother. I'm hearing you. 
nice liver kick and gain off the lead leg from Teixeira and immediately Singha JT moves into the clinch. They can't work the knees. Teixeira is also such a spoiling fighter. We never really see a clean cut flowing contest when Everton is in centre in. And particularly here tonight, you see it. Now there may be a little cut to the cheek it looks like here of JT. I think it's sure he's head, had, Yeah, he's had worse cuts in shaving. It's nothing to phase him as he tries to Wrench the mecha gang the Muay Thai clinch and work the knee to the jawline of Teixeira. One minute remains in this final round. There can be no more extensions after this. The judges must decide a winner. And still this one closer than Siamese twins. Round kick to the rib cage from Teixeira. Step up knee from Singha Jadeep. But still not connecting with the clean salvos. Ooh, Teixeira almost caught the shin across the nose. Knees from JD, they'll score for him. Teixeira's got to be careful not to give any way, any, away any more knees now. He's got to land in the final 25 seconds, Teixeira. Or Singhart JD may make history and become the youngest man to ever qualify for the K1 World Grand Prix. Both fighters just need to really throw it out because I mean, this is the final extension round, so these judges are just looking for anything they can latch on to. Mike, it's like I want to get a big, advantage. I want to get a big wet fish, get into centering and slap them both and say, "Come on!" I was just gonna say that. A I, big wet trout. Without the fish part, but I just want to like pause this action and be like, "What is wrong with you guys? <laughs> this on, is the final please. 16. You know there are countless number of fighters that would die to be in this position right now." I still say disqualify both of them and bring Melvin back. There you have it. We must go to a decision now. On saying that, Kogan, you know what I'm going to ask you? Which way do you sit on this one? I'll be honest with you, I don't really care. <laughs> Flip a coin and either one of these guys, you know, give them a win. It doesn't really matter. It didn't look like either one of them really wanted to win. I'll be honest with you. You know, it's it's, it just looked like a half-hearted... Just like a glorified sparring ass. session almost, right? Yeah, like, you know, they just, I, I want to see that, you know, the, the, the Drago, go, you know, the extension round, he pulls it out, he looked tired, he comes back. Okay, here we go. One for Teixeira. He's done it. I'm not going to raise my voice for it. I'm not going to be overly exuberant about it because at the end of the day, even Teixeira doesn't look very happy about his performance and he shouldn't. Really, that was just a horrible display by Everton Teixeira who has the experience. And rightfully so. I mean, I'm very close with Super and with Fire and they would not be happy at all with Teixeira's performance. Singha JT, but we'll give him credit. A lot of people thought Teixeira would tear him a new one so to say here tonight but it didn't happen he lasted the distance all five rounds he locked him up worked some nice knees and Teixeira just just didn't live up to expectation at all here tonight and once again I'll say it he goes to the Grand Prix for the second time Teixeira but if he was to at this moment face either Karayev, Zimmerman or Bonjaski all who have also qualified so far they would absolutely annihilate Teixeira or the Melvin. way he fought or Melvin for that matter or Melvin I say replace him with Melvin. Mike Kogan, a little bit of broke back mountain over Melvin Manoff, but rightly so. Because you want to see guys like Melvin who are exciting and not guys who are boring us senseless here like Everton. Well, it's not the matter of ex Hello. just exciting. You know, I mean, it's like Remy receives a lot of criticism for saying maybe he's a little conservative a fighter, but you could feel the desire to win. Fight